All right, guys, we have a quick tutorial on how to create your own team. Um, if you don't want to wait for the rosters to sync. Now, uh, we are having Synergy is having a little problem talking to our Active Directory right now. So some people have some classes. Some people don't have any classes. Some people have classes with no students. Some people have classes who have disappeared. So we're working out these issues. We've been doing it for a week. We're trying to get it done. But if you don't want to wait for that to happen, there is a way for you to make your own teams. And I'm going to show you how to get that done easily right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into Office. That's this right here. The next thing, I'm going to right click on Teams and I want to open this in a new tab. I'm going to have two tabs sitting here and we'll do something with each of them in a minute. After I have my Teams open in another tab, I want to come to the Waffle and I want to choose Clever. Now, Clever populated fine. All of the classes are there and you can find that by going up here to classes and clicking on the button. All of the classes should be populated here. What I can do for each of these classes now is I can click on it and see who is in it. And this is what we need. We need this information right here at the top to add them to my team. So I have the information. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this screen to half and then I'm going to grab my teams and I'm going to pull it to the other half. If you're on a Windows device, if I pull this over to the side, it'll automatically snap to half my screen. If you don't want to do that, just pull out the two windows. It's fine. In teams, you're going to join or create a new team. You're going to create a team and it's going to be a class. You're going to name this class with the title of the class. Uh, this is English nine honors. And it looks like it's third period. So I'm going to put third period here. Okay. I hit next. It's going to ask me, do you want to add your students? I'm going to say yes, right here, students. And I'm going to come to uh, Jaden here and I'm going to put him in first 24 J. And so if I start typing his name, it'll give me suggestions. And there he is right there. All right. I'm going to continue to do this. It's going to be sped up on the screen for all these students for this class. Okay, so this is an interesting one. 24 Angel V has two separate ones. So I have to go back and make sure that it's 24 Angel V 97 and I add the right one. Okay, so make sure that on some of those, uh, you have the right person in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of these. And once it is done adding, I'm gonna close it. And here is my English nine honors period three for that class, okay? If a class is already there right now and you wanna put your kids in it because it doesn't have any, you can go ahead and do that. 
or if you just want to create a brand new team, it'll take you about 10 minutes to add those students and the active sync, the active directory sync with that will never touch those because they've never been enrolled. So if you have a fear of them going away and want to just make one, just make one. We can hide the other ones. All right. Um, we're working hard on this. We understand that it's stressful, um, you know, the day before school starts. We want to make sure that school starts well. This is why I'm giving you this information right now. This is why um, we pushed it out on a Sunday so that if you are anxious and want to make sure, you can do this. Okay. We're working on it hard. Thank you for your patience and good luck uh, with the first day of school tomorrow.